Hello everyone and welcome back to Hoddle or Sell, where we'll be breaking down Strange Tales number 180, the first appearance of Gamora. In the end, we will let you know if we plan to hodle or sell. As always, this is not financial advice, but purely for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to receive updates on all our content. This video is sponsored by Elite Comics 11, Instagram's number one community-powered comic sales page. This Friday, March 25th, we are getting the Bronze Age comic, Strange Tales number 180. Story by Jim Starlin, with art and cover by Jim Starlin and Adam Weiss. In this issue, Adam Warlock and Pip travel to Magnus' home world. Warlock has ditched his lightning bolt unitard for a more dignified outfit with a cape and collar. Fighting his way into the Matriarch's castle, he is soon captured and put on trial by a creature called Krator. Reeling from Krator's life experience, he passes out and is taken away by the Matriarch's brainwashers. Meanwhile, Pip meets up with a green woman named Gamora, who says she's here to judge whether the Warlock has a chance of killing the Magus. She says if he does, she's going to join him. If not, she'll kill him. Gamora is the last of her species, a race called the Zen Huberus, who were all slaughtered by the Universal Church of Truth. She was later found by the Mad Titan Thanos, who raised her as his daughter as well as an assassin to carry out his deeds. Eventually, Gamora would join a group of intergalactic misfits known as the Guardians of the Galaxy. Portrayed by the amazing Zoe Zaldana, Gamora was first seen in the MCU in 2013's Guardians of the Galaxy and has continued to be a significant character in the MCU. As a 9.8 grade, Strange Tales number 180 is currently valued at $3,600 by GoCollect. For my final verdict, I give this book a hodl. It's been a very slow build, but this issue has gained some steam over the past year and it's possible this comic could continue to climb pending Gamora's future involvement with the MCU. If we land the comic on drop day, we definitely plan on holding for the long term to see how high this comic can climb. That being said, we won't be buying into the market just yet as we anticipate this comic selling for a premium on drop day due to scarcity, with a gradual dip as more potential grails and bigger keys are dropped over the coming weeks. Please make sure to reference the spreadsheet on our link tree for each comic definition and ranking. The link will be included in the details below. Overall, we still believe that Silver Age, Key, and Grill books should have the best long-term value. Also, if you would like to see our weekly comic book rankings, please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Crypto, where we will have new VV comic book rankings every Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out the rest of our podcasts on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Along with our weekly episodes, we will also be doing a hot or sell video the day before every drop to help you make the best decision for your collection. Special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at Ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you on the next one.